mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, you know, 10, 15,000 feet up, and that is producing what's called a lot of wind shear. It's wind changing direction with height. That wind shear is what fuels severe thunderstorms. If you can get a thunderstorm to develop vertically into wind shear, you have some problems. You can see that big vorticity center moving east, and at the surface on Thursday morning, you can see we're going to have strong southerly winds at about 5 a.m. So down here below 5,000 feet, we could have winds of 30, 40 miles per hour straight out of the south, warm, muggy air. So you go up to around 15,000 feet, the winds are going to be coming out of the west, southwest, and moving very fast. The difference in the wind direction at the surface to aloft is what we call wind shear. It can be directional or speed shear. In this case, it's a little bit of both because it changes direction and speed. If we can get a thunderstorm to develop vertically into that, those changing wind directions makes the thunderstorm rotate. Now, not all rotating thunderstorms produce tornadoes, but they do produce severe weather because think about a screw spinning counterclockwise. We're driving warm, moist air high into the sky, and that's going to produce hail, damaging winds, heavy rain and lightning, and yes, eventually possibly a tornado. So that's the setup that we have developing as we go into